We told you months ago that the administration lied and Americans died. This week, explosive testimony finally blows the whistle on those denials to send help. With me is Fox News military analyst Colonel David Hunt, who joins us from Boston, and former Navy SEAL Christopher Mark Heben, who was friends and a SEAL with Ty Woods and Glenn Doherty. All right, Colonel Hunt, I'm going to go to you first. I'm going to ask you to assume, Colonel, that the fight began at 9.30 at night in Benghazi and lasted eight hours. And I want you to assume that the official Washington response was, the assets can't get there in time. What's your reaction to that claim? That's preposterous. It's a lie. And we had forces within two hours by jet and three hours by air that were in Croatia armed and ready to go. All right. Now, when you say Croatia, how far is Croatia from Benghazi? How long would that take? It would take about three hours. And this is a, a force from Stuttgart called Charlie 110. They were training in Croatia, oh, but they Charlie. were armed and ready to respond to this kind of crisis. Okay. And who was in Stuttgart, Germany? There was, a, there was a squadron from Delta Force coming back from a mission that was en route and at Stuttgart, but they were a little, bit, a little bit farther away, probably about four hours by air, but they were available. All right. And can you tell us, Colonel, before I go to, the, uh, uh, to Chris here, can you tell us what is the uh, purpose of Delta Force, what is it made up of, and what is this C-110 uh, group? What's that about? Sure. Charlie 110 is called the In Extremist Force. It was designed, it's about 40 Special Forces guys out of Stuttgart, designed to fill the gap for the time it takes SEAL Team 6 or Delta Force to fly from the East Coast to Europe. They were designed 15 years ago, ready to do exactly what happened in Benghazi. All they need is the order to go. Delta Force is really the SEAL, is the Army's SEAL Team 6. All right. And, and uh, Chris, I'm going to ask you about, uh, you know, Delta Force. Colonel said it's your version of the SEAL team. Absolutely. Uh, okay. You were a SEAL. How long would it take a SEAL team, assuming they're somewhere around here, to get together and get to uh, Benghazi? When SEALs are in a the combat theater, which anywhere in this area would be, we're on what's called Alert 60 or Alert 30, which means we're on a very short lease. We can't be within more than 30 to 60 minutes away from our gear and our bags and our weapons ready to go. If we got the call to go, we would be on a plane within an hour flying there. So two hour flight time, hour or less response time, you're we're on scene in less than three hours. All right. And have you been stationed in, in where in this area? I've been in seal? Siganilla, Sicily. I've been in Aviano Air Base. I've been in Germany. I've been in, in Croatia. Okay. And All how, those places. What's the frustration level that there, there were no SEAL teams, no one was uh, ordered to... Uh, Respond. The frustration level is very high. There were guys in the area. There were guys all over the place. I you know this for a fact. I know this for a fact. All there right. was a SIF team in Tripoli that could have been there within two and a half hours. All right, but they got the order to stand down. All right, Colonel Hunt and Chris, stand by.